I see some newness in your life. I remember. And you'd have to, you'll have to think on this. See my raising. Some of us were talking today, talking to me and said, I, I, I sent them a picture of my home that I was raised in. Now, it wasn't a great big southern antebellum home. It was a shack in Polk County. It was a shack in Polk County. My dad and I, our occupation was bootlegging. That's what our occupation was. That's what we did for a living. Of course, I thought everybody did that for a living. I was just a little old boy, and, and I picked up the booze bottles for Dad and I to bootleg in. That's what I, we bought our booze from the county sheriff. <laughs> That's right. When they'd break down a steel, they'd bring it to us to sell, and they got a profit off of it. Amen. But notice, my daddy one day got born again. And the whole crowd that bought booze from us saw there was a change in their life. Now, this business of saying you got saved and no change in that, nothing to it. Amen. It'll change this. It'll change this. It'll change this. Amen. Everything about you becomes new. Oh, see now, you'll have to stop and think. This was new to me, saved. All I'd ever watch Dad do was fight and shoot. And, and that's all I knew. There wasn't no other lifestyle. Now, Mama had something. She was strange. She was weird. I mean, now here's how she was weird to us, that is. Daddy say, there goes your Mama again. She would literally, can you believe this? She had shouted, not even a church. This little old bitty four by four woman, broad as she is long, you know. She'd walk up and down through the house a shouting. She'd sweep the floors a shouting. She'd read the Bible. Ah, oh, I mean, she was a religious freak. To us, we thought, Lord God, when's she going to stop all that praying? And here's where she'd drive me wild. I'd be in the bed at night, and she'd come in mm, and get down beside my bed and start that foolishness. She'd lay, <laughs> she'd lay her hands on me and start praying. I wouldn't be a drunk like her dad, my daddy was. And I'd close my eyes so tight. I said, oh, oh God. I hope she'll quit soon. Hope she'll quit soon. Hope she'll quit soon. And she'd kiss me and tell me she loved me. Now, to Dad and I, that was what they say nowadays, way out. We didn't know about that. But one day, Mama was sick in bed. And I was there taking care of her. And Daddy told me later, he said, I... I was going down to, the, uh, to get me a drink of whiskey to get drunk. Oh, let me tell you this. I preached a revival just the other day, and let me in the church where my daddy got saved at. Amen. 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 Yeah. He told me I was going to get me, and I'm over there with Mama at the house. I'm over there watching after her, and she's sick in the bed, and all of a sudden, I'm out in the yard playing, and all of a sudden, Mama said, Whoa! I said, there she goes again. And I thought, well, maybe she, I maybe need to see if she wants some water or something. And I went in the house. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, I said, Lord, Mama, you're not going to die on me here, are you? And I went back out in the yard. And I listened. And my daddy had went over to the church where they're having a revival. And the Holy Ghost got a hold of him. Amen. And down he went in the aisle. And down the aisle he went. And when I, the next thing I knew, he was coming through the woods saying, Whoa! Whoa! I'd never 
never seen him like that. I said, he's got a hold some mean whiskey. He'll kill us all. <laughs> See, don't sit there and tell me that this thing of being saved is just a religious thing. Oh, uh, Catholicism's religion and a lot of things religion. But when God saves you, there's a change in you. Yeah. 